Morning, y'all. Well, morning for me. Technically, I think it's a little bit afternoon, but um, I'm retired and I can do. <laughs> I don't have to get up when I when everybody else does at nine o'clock or something. Anyway, um, I'm out in my garden, actually in my greenhouse right now, and just kind of looking things over. I came out and took all the frost covers off and all the towels and sheets. And all in all, in spite of my uh, depression yesterday from from the late season freeze and snowstorm and ice and stuff, the garden actually fared pretty well. Uh, I brought my tomatoes back out to the greenhouse so they could get lots of sunshine and start hardening off because I'll be planting those out here pretty soon. Um, I normally try to do that sometime in May. And that one just... it. I'm going to find a place for it because it struggles so hard it deserves to grow. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get these evening primrose and the snapdragons out pretty soon too into the that planter. And probably these blatchel buttons I'm going to put out in one of the planters too. And maybe some of the miracles. Now the miracles get really big. Um, they get really bushy if they get have the room. So I will probably put them in their own pot. We'll have to see what I do. Anyhow, you want to take a look around the garden with me and see what's what? From what I could tell, all of my flowers are fine that I put in here. The cosmos and the nasturtiums. They made it through. Boy, doesn't that let us look pretty? It's just... I need to pick some more and eat it, but oh, it's just too pretty right now. And that's the bronze mignonette down there. Put these flowers back out and look at the chocolate cherry sunflowers. They're really getting tall and sending out their uh, first set of true leaves. Now the corn did get nipped a little bit. But from what I can see, it looks like it's going to go ahead and grow. It was just the tips that it got nipped. So um, if it grows, fine. If it doesn't, I'll replace it. And the leeks perked back up, as did these Tom Thumb peas. I mean, still no blooms on anything, but they are still growing and green. So I'll be happy with those. I keep waiting to see blooms on these peas here, but I haven't yet. Well, it's not quite ready, so I'm going to leave it alone for just a little bit longer. Um, the tips of the potatoes that were trust touching the frost cloth got nipped, but not enough to affect the plants themselves, so they're, they're going to be fine. And of course, reddish and turnips can do it just fine. Can't wait to for these to get a bigger bulb on so I can actually pull them and eat them. Yeah, there's, there's a little damage here and there on the potatoes, but it's just the tips, so it should be fine. Oh, that one looks like it. Let's see if we can't poke it in there somewhere. I've got a pea stalk that looks like it bent a little bit too much. See right here? I don't know if that's going to go ahead and keep growing or not, but, you know, there's plenty of peas in there. I'll give you a closer look at the corn. See, there's just a little of it. It, it got t nipped on the tips of it. And even though they kind of went limp on me, it looks like the uh, shallots are going to be okay. Cabbage has made it through just fine. In fact, I'm going to pick that one here probably in a couple of days, let it get a little bit more growing. But I kind of like these smaller cabbages because since it's only me, having a huge head of cabbage is not a good idea. It just, I'm just going to, part of it's going to go bad on me. These onions are fine. And I just need to get some stuff planted in these other empty cells here that the strawberries didn't really, didn't really survive. Let me do a little bit of turning here. There, there, that one's turned. I'll have to turn these other ones with both hands. I'm not going to turn the strawberries because they've been undercover for so long. The irises... Um, I'm not sure 
some of them like i mean that's really really soft so that one these probably here froze but maybe some of these other ones are okay i did cover them again last night and that one there seems to be perking back up the big one it's going to be a wait and see thing on these check out the rosebud but i don't think that it affected them at all they're they're fine Go ahead and close up me. I was kennel. I've been letting her run around my yard and stuff today, but yeah, she she can't run in here too long. She gets into things. She messes with my birds and she gets into my planters because she's a puppy dog and you know she's curious and she wants to see. So all in all, um, you know, even with the frost sniffing and stuff, um, I really have no reason to be upset and depressed, and things made it through okay. But little setbacks bother me a lot. And, and it wasn't even much of a setback, and it still it bothered me a lot. I think it was just the idea of looking out the window that day and seeing all that snow when, when it wasn't supposed to get cold enough to freeze until that night. It was like, this is just not right. This is not fair. So, anyway, if you um, haven't followed my channel yet, please do. And if you liked my video, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it around, and um, I'll talk to y'all later.